But speaking of disappointing, money talks and nothing is sacred. Such as the state of pro sports in the 90s. The Browns are indeed moving to Baltimore, the city which lost its NFL team in the dead of night more than 11 years ago. Now Baltimore and the state of Maryland ante up a new $200 million stadium, which will be rent-free to the Browns for 30 years, and what amounts to a $50 million signing bonus to Modell for moving. CNN's Mark Moore has more. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a signed contract in hand. The Browns are indeed coming to Baltimore. The city of Baltimore rejoiced Monday as Cleveland Browns owner Art Modell announced his intention to move the storied Browns franchise to Baltimore. This has been a very, very tough road for my family and for me. I leave Cleveland, Ohio, 35 years, and leave my heart, a good part of my heart and soul there. I can never forget the kindness of the people of Cleveland, the fans that supported the Browns for years. But frankly, it came down to a simple proposition. I had no choice. This is a joyous day for Baltimore and a tribute, Baltimoreans, to your proven love of the game of football in the years when we had a team and even in the years when we did not have an NFL team. The Browns are now the Baltimore Browns and we're proud of it. For Baltimore natives, this was a day many thought would never come. After the Colts left in the middle of the night in March of 1984, this city has gone through 11 years of searching for a replacement and being courted by other franchises only to be let down. But now it appears the NFL is coming back. Ecstatic. Baltimore Browns. It's got a nice ring to it. We have mixed emotions, but uh, we tried to do it above board. We went for the expansion team. Uh, they said that's the way the game has to be played, so we played it that way. Uh, I feel bad for the people in Cleveland, but I feel better for us. The city of Cleveland is not giving up without a fight. Mayor Michael White is spearheading a group that claims Modell has never seen the city's final stadium proposal, and they don't want to lose one of the league's oldest franchises. Today is a sad day. It is a sad day for the state of Ohio, a sad day for Greater Cleveland, and a sad day for the city of Cleveland and all of its citizens. Modell and the Cleveland contingent will plead their case before the NFL owners Tuesday in Dallas. The owners are expected to vote on the Browns' proposed move in mid-January. 23 of 30 owners must approve the move for it to become official. I'm not worried about the league. The league will take care of itself. In Cleveland's case, my observation is they've been very successful in their market. So I'm going to be hard-pressed to find a reason to vote for that personally. The city has several other hopes of keeping the Browns. Tuesday's countywide vote on an alcohol and cigarette tax could be helpful in convincing the NFL to vote down the Browns' move or convincing Modell to stay. The tax money would go toward renovations for ancient municipal stadium. Another possibility is legal action, which is already in motion. The city was granted an injunction Monday to keep Modell from moving the team. Mr. Modell intends to have a press conference tomorrow where he wants to rewrite history. And we're be, we will be prepared uh, to write history the way it should be because it will be written in front of the NFL and probably in front of the courts as well. If the Browns relocate to Baltimore, they will play their first two seasons in the Colts' former home, Memorial Stadium. Then, beginning in 1998, they will play in a brand new 70,000-seat stadium to be built on this parking lot adjacent to Camden Yards. In Baltimore, Mark Morgan, CNN Sports. Well, Modell says that Cleveland area vote on Tuesday will have no bearing on his moving the Browns, who will eventually play next door to the Orioles, who moved to Baltimore from St. Louis, where the franchise had been, the Browns. And now the good people of Cleveland turned index fingers. They had used to point straight up in a number one gesture toward their once beloved, now suddenly vilified owner as the bad guy. As Nick Charles reports, the reaction in the city in some cases has been downright nasty. There's been a lot of agony to go with the ecstasy over the 49 seasons the Browns have been in Cleveland. They say, though, time heals all wounds. But how about a broken heart that comes with losing forever the football team you thought would always be around? They turned their own soul out in the city. And uh, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for Cleveland. It really is. And Monday in Cleveland, when Browns owner Art Modell dropped the official bomb on the city, he had become the enemy. If we 
didn't support it, that's one thing. But this town is supported through TV ratings and through attendance. And we've done everything we could to support the Cleveland Browns, our Modell. And he's turned his back on us, so he's going to have to live with this decision. He knew ahead of time, no matter what we were going to do, he was moving. Come hell or high water, he was moving. And on Thursday, I was very disappointed, and I was really angry at Art Modell as a traitor to the city. Uh, now, I guess my smart aleck remark is this might get Cleveland into the Super Bowl faster than it would if Art stayed in town. Players are stressing this has nothing to do with them or fans who have supported them, but everything to do with Art Modell and the city of Cleveland and an ancient stadium that just doesn't cut it anymore. It's really not a place to play uh, professional football. Uh, it, it was time to move on to, uh, you know, uh, to move on with the times. But the greatest Brown of them all, Jim Brown, who used to stride like a giant over this field and who prowled the sidelines again Sunday, said fans were lulled to sleep and suddenly awoke to a nightmare. The great thing about Cleveland and the Cleveland Browns is that there was a wonderful marriage and a great history and the best fans in the country and stadiums that always had around 70,000 people. And I think that fact made the city fathers think that uh, art did not need to be taken seriously. And uh, that was a major mistake. They say all good things must come to an end. And this 49-year-old love affair apparently has. But after all the shock and all the anger, some are left with one overriding emotion. And that is sorrow. How can you throw that all the way? I don't understand it. It ain't fair to no one. It ain't fair to none of the, the people in Cleveland. And it's definitely not fair to the younger generation. Nick Charles, CNN Sports. A lot of emotions, as you can see. You've seen this so many times with so many teams. You almost have to take a, we'll wait till we see it to believe it attitude. But you look at the Browns fans, and how can you support a team more than filling an 80,000-seat stadium every single week? No matter what the record, yeah. I can't help but feel that, you know, if this were a movie, what Modell has done to the fans of the Brown and Browns in Cleveland would be rated NC-17. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got plenty still ahead right here, and the night in the NBA will be next as the shackless magic try to dodge some bullets in Orlando. It's a light night, but a good night in basketball.